Isaiah chapter 54 verse 16 Behold I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire And that smith of course is, those smiths are, are the um, uh, the scientists making these nuclear missiles And that bringeth forth the instrument for his work And I have created the waster to destroy So there, there go the nukes That's where that comes from Because he just asked where y'all get that from that's a secret that's only revealed to the to the um, to the prophets of the Lord. That brother was just being being proud. He came up humble and look, it just ain't for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The scriptures the scriptures say, uh, "Gather yourself in array against Babylon." So it's telling you that there's gonna be nations and soldiers. That's why you it doesn't gotta, make any sense, man. It's talking about actual war that's going to be taking sense. That's why you got to praise the Lord for this truth. Because he came up and he agreed with what we were saying at first. But he had that, he had that stumbling block before him. Mm -hmm. It's always something that be that stumbling block just to the people who don't get it. God, uh, and just to let you know that um, even the elites know what them arrows are. The Pentagon uses a term called broken arrow. And what that is, is that if, the, uh, if they lose a nuke, okay, in, in somewhere like the ocean, okay, they have to call it a broken arrow. And... Uh, I believe CBS did a document, did a segment on there was over 60 broken arrows, nuclear um, missiles missing in America, and they called it broken arrow. Just look up that term. It's, it's obvious that America is Babylon. If somebody can't get it, so, it's just not for them, kid. Because you have you have uh, the Statue of Liberty in, in New York City, and that's that. That idol goes back all the way back to Babylon, Semiramis. Well, he probably ain't want, because most likely he just graduated from Miami Dade because um, he was dressed up and all these people, they coming from the graduation. So you you done graduated from, from one of these um, Edomite schools and you still can't get this. That's why the wisdom of the world ain't shit, man. Yeah, he was one of them Jehovah's Wickedness motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. That's where he got that, that philosophy from. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say yeah. that too. Like Joe, yeah, some, some, some shit in his hand. Yeah, those are He's reading the NIV too. You got a preset? Yeah, the NIV. NIV. Hey, boy. Oh, boy, that shit is madness, New man. Testament. New Testament. <laughs> he saw did it. New Testament. Yeah. Because he can't find it. You know what I'm saying? He knew a little something. But, like, you know, Ms. Kerr was just saying that little hump that he had to cross, he couldn't cross it. Boy. Couldn't cross it. Yeah, we, yeah man. The water you how about shimmy out shy, man? Cause that that could have been that could be us. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, bring it out. Uh, uh, this is John ten and six. Uh, so like John ten and twenty seven. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. So yeah, man. Yeah, uh, uh, the Lord's sheep. The Lord's sheep hears his voices, man. That just show you that this wasn't for him, man. Cause he, uh, 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 um. He didn't hear the uh, the the Lord's voice, man. He didn't hear he didn't hear the uh, um, the voice of the, uh, the chosen one, man. That's it. All right. This is uh, Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse one. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Yeah, woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. What's Babylon? Babylon is America, man. The Lord said death and destruction unto America. Because you have all, all these actually, wicked right? motherfuckers like that walking around, man. You got faggots here, man. You got lesbians here. You got sluts, adulterers. You have idolatry. You have witchcraft. All manner of wickedness here, man. The Lord is about to bring judgment to America. And that's what America deserves, man. America deserves to be destroyed with fire, man. It says, woe unto Asia. That goes for you gooks over there in China and Korea. You gooks over there in Japan. All you motherfuckers gonna get judged by the most high. That's right. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Yeah, Egypt, again, that's symbolic of America. Syria is symbolic of America. Even even the, 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 the actual physical Syria over there, they getting judged with war and famine and pestilence. Verse 2. Gird up yourself with clothes of sack and, and hair. Yeah, so all these nations, they're not going to be prospering. They're not going to be happy and joyful. The Lord said, gird up your, your loins with socks of, with a cloth of sack. Which means, that's that's like a, a robe that you would wear when you were mourning over a death. The Lord said that he would cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant 
um, and the nephew. So the Lord's about the Lord's about to destroy this place, man. That's why you can't have any attachments for this piece of shit. And be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. Verse 3, a sword is sent upon you. And who, who may turn it back? Yeah, that's talking about those ICBM nu nuclear missiles, man. You have you have uh, Esau trying to de uh, trying to develop his anti missile defense system. The Lord said the arrows are sent, and who can turn them back, man? So Russia, the EU, China, and all these different nations they gonna fire their missiles to America, and there's not there's gonna there's not gonna be anything that you Edomites can do to stop it, man. Verse four: A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Yeah, a fire is sent among you, man. That's again, that's talking about that destroying wind, that devouring fire, man. From the chariots, from the nuclear missiles, they're gonna, they're gonna, that's gonna fall upon America, and nobody's gonna be able to quench it, man, because it's gonna be the spirit of your Yahweh Shai that's, that's causing those flames to burn Babylon, man. Like it was saying, it said a sword is sent among you, and then it, it, it went in, in depth to tell you that that sword is gonna cause fire, man. So all you gotta do is put two and two together, man. But hey, we understand, man. Like the brother brought out, ain't no pictures, no pictures. Like the brother bought out, man. The sheep hear his voice, man. It's uh, not for everybody. Second Peter chapter three verse ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also in the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Yeah, man, the elements shall, shall melt with fervent heat, man. How is the Lord going to do that? He's going to do that with ICBMs. He's going to do that with his chariots. And just his mere presence is going to melt the, melt these elements, man. Because when, we when we were in the wilderness, we went to the mountain to get the commandments, man. man and the Lord came down on the mountain, and the mountain started melting. So that just shows you the power of your how about Shimmy Shai, just his presence is gonna melt this place, man. Uh, is it? Uh, verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Earlier in the scripture said all these things shall be dissolved. So yeah, Christianity, all them um uh, all the philosophy is gonna be dissolved also. But it's the nations, the so-called white man is going down. That, and that's what these people don't want to get. It's just they just can't get it. It's the book of Ezra, chapter 16, verse 53. Let not the sinner say that he have not sinned. For the most high shall burn coals of fire upon his head. Which said before the Lord power and his glory, I have not sinned. Verse 54. Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts, and their hearts. Yeah, man, the Lord said that. The Lord said, let not the sinner say, I have not sinned, man. All you wicked ass self-righteous people out here that we prophesying to, that we warning, we warning you about the destruction, y'all don't repent from y'all ways, man. You, you faggots are proud faggots, you adulterers, and you adulterers are proud about it, man. And y'all don't turn from y'all wickedness, man. That's why the Lord said he gonna, he gonna send fire, man. The Lord said he gonna put, pour coals of fire upon their heads to burn you in your wickedness, man. Since you don't want to turn from, from your wickedness, you don't want to turn from your idols and repent, the Lord's gonna burn your ass, man. That's just the truth, man. Right. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 18 and 12. And they said, there is no hope but we will walk after our own devices and we will and we will everyone do the imagination of his evil heart <laughs> verse 13 therefore thus said the lord ask ye now among the heathen who have heard such things the version of israel have done a very horrible thing yeah man and that's talking about israel worshiping idols man they walk after their own imaginations because they say there is no hope in the Lord. So they walk they walk after their idols so they could gain some kind of prosperity. That's why the Lord said the virgin of Israel, because Israel was like a virgin unto the Lord, had done a horrible thing. She committed adultery against the Lord, man. And an adulterer, an adulteress is supposed to be put to death, man. Get 
down to verse 15. <laughs> because my people have forgotten me, they have burnt incense unto vanity, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient paths, to walk in paths in a way not cast up, to make their land desolate and a perpetual history. Everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. It's just for edification because the dude just came up talking about Babylon is not a nation and it's 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 a it's Christian num or whatever he was saying. Um, Jeremiah 28 verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Babylon is is um, is America. The beast is the so-called white man's rulership, but all his many countries and great kingdoms, physical kingdoms that's going to be burned down by them nukes. Jeremiah 50, 51 and just read, just read Jeremiah, 28, 28. Right. Jeremiah 51 and 1 Thus saith the Most High Behold I will raise up against Babylon And against them that dwell in the midst Of them that rise up against me A destroying wind And will send unto Babylon Fanners that shall fan her And shall empty her land And shall empty her land man Go ahead for in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round and about. Shall be against her round about, man. That's World War Three. You gonna have you gonna have troops from from the other nations that's gonna come and siege America. Troops from Russia, from China, from Iran, all over the world, man. Go ahead. Verse three. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. Mm -hmm. And against him that lifteth himself up in his brigadine. And spare ye not her young men. Yeah, man. So it's going to be a lot of slaughter over here in America, man. Destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Destroy ye utterly all her hosts, man. So America's army, America's population is going to be destroyed by these, all these other nations and by the destroyed wind, which is going to throw into their bombs, man. That's what's going to America, man. Not prosperity. America's not going to have another gold round. This is it, man. Like Michael Jackson was saying, man. It's a wrap. Right. Verse 4. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. Okay. Um, Isaiah chapter 34, verse 4. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Yeah, that's talking about the nuclear bombs when they explode. It causes that mushroom cloud. It actually looks like a scroll that's rolling up. Go ahead. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine. Exactly, because there's, there's gonna be there's gonna be Esau's technology, his ships, his drones, his airplanes up there, and there's gonna there's gonna be nuclear bombs and fire coming down from the sky that's gonna knock them all down. So they're gonna fall like they're gonna fall like what? And as a falling fig from the fig tree. Yeah, they're going to fall like figs from a fig tree. Go ahead. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Yeah, the sword of the Lord, which is those nukes, is going to pass through the heavens. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Yeah, it shall come down upon Idumia, man. So you, you, the European Union and America and Canada have a hot date with the nuclear fire, man. That's right. Go ahead. Idumia is a Greek way to say Edom. Which means red, so-called white man. And upon the people of my curse to judgment, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of the rams. For the Lord has a sacrifice in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. Right, Basra was the chief city of Edom, man, and the chief city of Edom today is what you would call America, man. The Lord said that he got a sacrifice in Basra, man. So all, the, all you chief men on the earth in Babylon, all you all you crackers that's in authority, the Lord is going to kill you with fire, man. That's right. That's, that's right. the truth, man. And I can't wait till that day comes, man. With all the brothers, we can't wait till that happens, man. Go ahead. 
and the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. Let me get this last verse. And this last verse, anybody don't, who don't think who think this has already happened, this has already happened, because we all know that the Lord is coming back with vengeance on his day. Verse 8. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. This is Jeremiah 23 and 19. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury. Yeah, the whirlwind of the Lord is, is gone forth with fury, man. The Lord's not coming back nice. People think the Lord's coming back with peace and dandelions. No, the Lord has said, said that he's a man of war. That's right. Go ahead. Even a grievous whirlwind. Mm -hmm. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. Yeah, who's the wicked? You fucking Edomites, man. You, you crackers, you so-called white people. Y'all the wicked, man. The Lord said that he got a whirlwind, which is that fire that's going to come down upon your head. Go ahead. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. Yeah, man. So the Lord said that he not gonna, he's not going to cut you any slack, man, for you fucking wicked wicked motherfuckers, man. The Lord said that he will not at all acquit the wicked. Go ahead. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfect. Yeah, we we in the latter days today, man. We, this is the last of the last days, man. We in the last couple of seconds, man. So that proves that this prophecy is talking about now. Thermonuclear four, war, World War Three, Armageddon is coming, man. That's right. Second uh, Ezra 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. And when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Yeah, what what kind of arrow you know that could be shot from one end of the earth to the, to another, man? The prophet was just was just speaking parabolically, <laughs> symbolically, or or in a in a manner to describe what he was seeing, man, because there was no such thing as a thermonuclear missile in the ancient world. So he described it as an arrow, man. And like the Akim brought out earlier. They call in the military, they call a missing missile or a, a malfunctioning missile a broken arrow, man. Go ahead. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again. Yeah, the plagues are sent and they shall not return again, man. So the, the plagues that's coming to America and that's coming to the world is going to be unlike anything else, man. There's no other time in the world has there ever been thermonuclear war. No other time in the world has there ever been every nation fighting against every other nation. No other, no other time in the world has there been a worldwide famine, worldwide earthquake, worldwide uh, volcanic eruptions, worldwide uh, weather from phenomena. Phenomena that's coming, to, that's coming in, in your lifetime, man. That's right. Go ahead. Until they, until they come upon the earth, the the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till they consume the foundations of the earth. Right, man. So there's nothing, there's nothing that's going to stop these prophecies, man. You Edomites try to subvert the prophecies of Yahweh, Shai, that's not happening. That's something? Yeah, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 27, verse 1. In that day, the Most High, with his sword and great and strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Yeah, that's talking about you Edomites, man. You you Edomites are the Leviathan, that crooked serpent uh, that's that's in the sea, man. Which means, the, if I'm correct, is it crooked or piercing? That means fugitive. Piercing. Piercing, yeah. That, that goes back to a Greek word, a uh, Hebrew word that means fugitive. And we know that these Edomites, y'all the wicked, y'all the vagabonds that walk, walk throughout the earth. Stealing and, and, com and committing all kinds of atrocities, man. And the scriptures say that the wicked are estranged from the womb uh, like serpents, man. Roughly paraphrasing it, man. So that's talking about you Edomites, man. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 25 and 31. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are that are wicked to the sword, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation. Right, that's talking about those missiles, man. 
a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coasts of the earth. Right, from Russia, from China, from the EU, from all these different nations, man. That whirlwind is going to be raised up, which is those those fires, and they're going to raise up from the coast of the earth to America and to various different nations, man. Go ahead. And, and the slain of the Lord shall be at that day of one end, so like from one end of the earth even to the other, the other end of the earth. Right. The slain of the Lord in that day shall be from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. Why? Because of the because of World War Three, because of the chariots that's going to be slaughtering people out here, man. They shall not be lamented, neither gathered nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. 